All right, Black Panther, I thought it was a great movie. It had a lot to do with um, social injustice, but it, it also, how to stand up for yourself and when to stand up for yourself. It got a little more detailed, but it's not all about race in this movie. So some people are saying online, I read, that they, they've, they don't want to watch it because it's kind of about race. But it's a Marvel movie. It's one of the better ones, one of the best ones, actually. And uh, I would put it up there with the, the new Thor movie for me because I, I love that movie. But um, I don't know, they're two different types of movies, so it's up to you. Well, as the, the Thor movie was more of a comedy, this is more serious. It does have some silly moments, but they're, they're two different genres, so I guess that was a bad comparison. Okay, I wanted to talk about the different layers of the shape of water. You know, it goes from racism to prejudice to just uh, putting up a front like people even though they look happy and they look like they got everything perfect, they don't really. And, wow. Okay, so it goes into showing like the family has a perfect, you know, household. But really, I mean, the, the father, he's a monster himself. He's like abusive. Um, the mother just accepts it. She's kind of just like a trophy wife, I guess. Um, it goes into the racism, it shows the guy kicking out the people, you know, for being black in the restaurant. And then the gay guy does nothing and tries to hit on that guy. But then he realizes that, that he's got to stop being afraid to stand up for things. And the monster basically has a, you know, don't start no shit, there won't be no shit attitude. Um, it had a creative front to move, but it also had a lot of meaning behind it. Well, I couldn't film right because I kept breaking my concentration for some reason. I've been feeling like, uh, I guess, self-conscious about me talking to my phone while people are watching me. Okay, so if you're looking for a movie that you want to analyze, it might make you think a little. Uh, this movie I'd recommend because you, if you really want to get into a deep thought and you analyze this movie, you can think about all the different aspects. So go ahead and watch it in something different. Okay, Dunkirk is a World War II movie. Um, it shows it, how the civilians step in. So it's like a World War II movie, but it has its own point of view. Uh, a different one instead of just you know a soldier they're looking for a soldier or a war movie it shows the civilians doing their call to duty to help their own people and um, I would say that the only thing they missed was going with the, the Germans they should have they should have put a little humanity into the German side too but but it wasn't focused on that I personally I, I would have liked it because it would have been like a whole like hum, humanity thing for me Wow. Yeah. What is that called? It's called luxuries on the side, huh? Uh, luxuries. 